What's up guys, Warlock here, welcome back to the channel, I hope everyone's having a fantastic day. Today I got another Apex Legends video for you and I'm bringing you the top 5 tips to gain RP fast in Apex Legends Season 7. Let's do it. If you're new here and you want to learn how to improve your gameplay, get better aim and other Apex Legends tips, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you guys don't miss out on anything. All right, guys, let's get into the tips. In today's video, we're going to be looking at five crucial tips to help you improve your gameplay and gain RP fast in Apex Legends Season 7. And this particularly for Olympus, and the, although this will also apply to uh, World's Edge, which is going to be in Split 2, so you can use these tips there as well. The five tips are drop location, analyzing the zone, fighting as a team, play for the end game, and being patient. On to tip number one. Dropping at a familiar location. This has to be one of the best ways to get early points and loot is to drop at a location your team is familiar with. This is crucial because you will know how the loot spawns at the location and also how to fight there. So if a team lands there with you, you're going to be able to get easy RP at the start of the game. And if this happens, the ideal way is to fight as a team and to get each person to come out with at least two RP. In addition, if multiple teams, as in two or more, come with you to your location and you don't feel confident enough to fight, it's a good idea to have a backup location that you can land at nearby. For example, my team likes to drop at Estates, and if we have three or more teams going there, we like to land at the low-high construction area between Elysium and Oasis. So make sure that you have a backup location that you can land at just in case if multiple teams go to that location. Doing this also allows you to loot very fast and then rotate back into your normal drop location for easy third parties to get that early game RP. Now, if you feel that through a day or a week of dropping at the same location and you feel like molt so many teams are going there, switch it up. Choose a different location that is going to work for your team. But I advise only having a couple locations that you drop at in high level ranked games. Next up is tip number two analyzing the zone okay this is an important tip because you want to be able to analyze the zone to determine if you need to rotate or not this can be a tough tip to master if you don't pay attention to the zones and where they end up while you're playing whether it's ranked or in public matches my advice here is to study the zones try to remember how the zones move and where they go if you have a recon legend on your team like pathfinder crypto or bloodhound Scanning the survey beacons to get an idea of where the next zones will be will help your team greatly. Now, this can be difficult because you want to be able to have someone who knows the location as well to help position your team in the best way possible. Okay, this only comes with playing the game more and more and more and just studying the zones. They're not going to change too much, but for the most part, when you see a certain zone, you should have a general idea of where it's going to end up. Now, if you are out of the starting zone, then rotating is top priority and you need to rotate early. Rotating early will give you the advantage in the best position when it comes to the end game. If you're inside the zone, you can either hold the landing location you chose or try to look for more, more loot nearby. I cannot stress this enough, guys. If you do have to move, just move to the location. Any lag time looting multiple areas while you're trying to move will lose you precious seconds and any team may take that spot. So if you have to rotate, rotate early, get to that position and set up for the next rings. Now, while you're rotating, if you want to rotate into the zone to another beacon location and hit the beacon again, figure out where the next zone is, analyze it and find the best position and then rotate to that new spot and just rinse and repeat throughout the entire game. On to tip number three, fight as a team. For some reason, this is the tip I have to continue to make sure teams are doing. Apex is a team game. Every fight isn't a 1v1, so fighting as a team, which means having proper spacing from one another, so not too far away and not too close. Identify enemy legends and determine which ones are the biggest threats and take those legends down first. This includes legends like Lifeline, Caustic, and definitely Gibby. If you see a Gibby on the team, then it needs to be dropped first. This can, can be a difficult one to master, especially if you're solo queuing and where communication comes into play greatly. Even if only one person is on your team calling the shots, there needs to be comms at all times to win the harder gunfights. If a teammate is drifting too far away or is just trying to shoot a different legend altogether, odds are he or she will be team shot by the enemy team and then you're down a player. But if you team shoot and drop one legend, now you're in a 3v2 situation and the odds of winning are greatly increased. Even if you team shoot and one of your teammates gets severely hurt, 
you're still up because you have two v2 situation and your person can heal and get back into the fight having numbers in apex legends means everything the majority of the time when you have 3v2 or 2v1 situations the odds are of winning are just too high it would take high level players or really bad mistakes to lose those situations guys so team shooting is the most important thing when it comes to ranked especially at the longer distances if you team shoot at longer distances and you everybody shoots the same target and gets a knock finish that guy off and then that's another point for your team and then move on you don't have to push every fight but make sure that you are team shooting to get that rp on to tip number four play for the end game ranked play is all about positioning and strategy sure trying to push every fight and slay out may work a little bit of the time but in higher level lobbies like d3 and up is all about positioning and strategy so play for the end game and what i mean by that is having the best position on the map i had to say that slow guys i'm gonna say it again have the best position on the map get into the zone and set up and hang out for the end game and yes, I know guys, it does sound a, you know, doesn't sound too appealing and somewhat campy, but running around and pushing every fight, especially in the mid game, will only end in third or fourth parties and we've all been there before. So, loot up, fight early, play the third parties, and when you are third partying, make sure that you're not over pursuing or over committing into a fight. Fight from a distance and let those teams fight and see players move out shoot them pepper them and get those knocks and get those easy points you don't have to run into every fight blind and then set up for the end game battles guys remember positioning is everything if you have the best position teams are going to come to you because they know that those are the best positions and you're going to be able to fight and get that rp so loot up fight early and set up for end game battles and remember guys positioning is everything on to the last and final tip be patient this one a lot of players and teams are guilty of, including myself. You're playing ranked and you're halfway through the game and you have no KP points and you start to get anxious. You start hearing gunshots and then think, let's push, let's go get some kills, I need some RP. This is the wrong way to think to play ranked. Remember, you can gain points just by surviving to the top placements. And pushing fights just on impulse of needing to get kills typically ends your team in being eliminated. You need to be patient set up and let teams rotate into you or third party strategically not over position pursuing fights and that's why team shooting comes into play to shoot from a distance get a knock everybody finish that legend off and get another point like we mentioned before being patient and letting teams fight and securing the best position will give your team more consistent top placement wins and rp even if you're gaining small increments of RP, it's better than losing any amount of RP, right? So be patient, have fun, and good luck in the Apex games. All right, guys, I really hope you did enjoy today's video. I hope that these five tips will help you out in gaining more RP and ranked. Remember, guys, it's all about positioning, early kills, placement, and just not over pursuing and make sure you communicate and play strategically. Okay, high level lobbies are already tough. If you're solo grinding, it's even harder. So make sure you're using these tips wisely and then gain that RP. Play very, very, very smart, guys. If you did enjoy today's video, make sure to drop a like, guys, as we're rolling out a lot more videos. And if you're new here, be sure to subscribe and turn on the bell so you guys don't miss out on future Apex Legends tip videos. For me, Warlug, as always, stay gaming, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. 99 on one. Don't push too far, there's two different squads I know, there, I'm just, I'm I just think. like, I'm just uh, hitting them. Uh, right. Keep an eye on this other guys over here. Give me a I don't have anything to knock that door down. Uh, I do, I do, I do. Deep corner, hold on. I'm gonna get it. I hit two. I hit two. With R star one's in the corner. I don't have alt yet, guys. Be careful. No. I'm hurting them hard. That's not mine. They're getting pushed. They're getting pushed. Let them get pushed. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You're getting ooh, shot in my back from the team up. You have, you have your ult in there? Nope. I have 90% right now. They have one cost. Oh, yeah. they just threw Gibby Bubble. It's okay. Be careful, Soul. Okay, Watch the shots them. behind you. I know. Watch yourself. 
Oh. Nice, good gas, good gas. Knock one. All right, I'm throwing my ult. I got it. Oh wait. Hey, come back, come back in here. Crack this shit up. I need to get. I need to get. Back up, back here. up, back up, back up, work, back up, work. Oh my god. Yeah. yeah. Get the. Or I'll get the res. Yeah, I'm healing. I'm healing. Jesus Christ, let me res. Button wasn't working. I'm gonna end it here. I'm ready to re-push Oh, in oh, get that shit, down? get that shit. Yep, 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 he just got red. Nice, he's down. I don't know what's going on, but I'm got shooting. Got him. Uh, Alright, good Hello. shit, good shit. I'm body swapping. Same. Lots of shield cells in here. Look at all these purples. What are the sorcery? Yeah. I think there's a... Got oh, nobody close. Broken, though. Nine. Alright. Alright guys, this is it. We gotta get up to that. We should have had that spot up there. I need to switch my charge rifle. We're on clock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have an ult yet. I'm looking for throwies. Anything good to switch for a charge rifle in here? Yeah, you can get a nine. Yeah, nine right here, have mag, all purple. I'll take a... I'm gonna take this 301. Actually. No throwables though. We gotta go. Yeah, Light we gotta on go. our feet, light on our feet. Come on. Let's take floor, let's take floor. Pop smokes, pop smokes, there's team to our left. Nobody's here. Oh, oh one, one guy, one go. guy. One person. One caustic. Should let somebody me go face first. back in, somebody face back in though. Yeah, they're below us. Almost I just fucking beamed her. I gotta hit a battery. I did too. Alright, we got a whole second. Other side, blood hold on me. Oh god, dude. Traps, I'm traps, hiding. traps. Be careful, be careful, bang. I got traps, I got traps. He might come back, he might come down. I'm watching, I'm watching, I'm watching. Oh, grenade, watch out. Watch out, watch out, watch out. I'm topping off. It's him above us and the other team's down here to our right. Okay. You gotta take care of him. Hey, there's a body swap in here just in case. Level five. Yeah, pick it up. Yo, this building Pride, is it right here. 140, we gotta push Pride. with him. One shot. Star in the storm. One shot, Costa, guaranteed. One. Nice, nice. There I'm on go. the res. Traps, traps. Last one down. I'm a Phoenix sub, okay? I, I can get my own. 40 again. seconds, 40 Wait seconds. For it. I have a tolerance. Yo. Watch out for the arc star. How about all these? How about all these kids? Yeah, do it, do it, do it. Oh, it's just one guy. Yeah, I'm popping him uh, mad real quick. Yeah, guys are all max, right? Yeah, yeah, we're good. No. I sent him. I sent him 42. Do you need it, Sky? I need it. Okay, that's all okay. you. He's, Where he's is he? The back. Right here, right here. Right here. I'm just gonna hurt him with the fuck. Wait, hold on, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, get in there. He's on top. Bro. Finish him, Sky. Finish him. <laughs> I'm trying to punch him to death. I'm lagging, guys. I'm lagging hard. It's okay. I got him, though. I got him. I got him. Bro, I can't nice. see. <laughs> dude, nice, dude, I'm lagging. <laughs> I'm like dude, glitching I'm everywhere. <laughs> oh my god. I'm like, come on. Come on, Sky. Bro. I couldn't Yo, see never, him. I've never I just saw his little little hair just like flying. Yeah. Oh man, that's, that's funny. so funny. <laughs> Man, whatever. Uh, we're like, come <laughs> on, Scott. Oh, <laughs>